Hey everyone, good morning. Making my last video probably for the Network Plus here. So as some of you have seen my community post, I, I posted my score um, last night and then I checked my portal this morning and my certificate is live. So that's great, that's pretty fast, faster than when I got my A+. So let's talk about the exam a little bit and any pointers I can give you um, off the bat. I had a lot of PDQ questions. I had four different PDQ questions and some of them wanted me to give, you know, five, 10, 12 answers on some of these performance-based questions. And that threw me off quite a bit. I think on the A plus um, exam for core one and core two, I had like two or three PBQs, not four. And yeah, they were challenging. Um, a lot of real world tasks. You're going to log into a router and a switch. And you're going to have to see what's wrong with it, figure it out. Um, you're going to have to understand routing technologies, firewall rules. Um, you're going to have to design secure networks, allow certain kinds of traffic, you know, different things like that. So um, that's what I saw on my PBQs, um, very active knowledge and task-based oriented stuff. Um, so do your labs. That's going to help a lot. Okay. Um, as far as the multiple choice questions, uh, a lot of, I remember just general security questions. Um, knowing what like rogue services are, like a rogue DHCP server, that's going to help you a lot with troubleshooting things. Um, yeah, troubleshooting Wi-Fi issues, um, connection issues. Definitely know managed and unmanaged devices and what they're capable of. I will throw in a curveball there. Um, but I can't give away specifics. I can't give you a specific question and answer because that would violate the rules. Anyway, I hope that helps. Uh, definitely know the CompTIA troubleshooting methodology. Definitely know the OSI layers and how to use them and how to troubleshoot with them. Um, you're going to have to know all that stuff. Know your command lines. Know the difference between trace route and pane and be able to identify MAC addresses and stuff like that. Um, understand ARP address resolution protocol. Okay, well, I won't ramble on for too long, but that's just some of the stuff that I saw in my exam. You're going to be doing real world exercises with routers and switches, designing secure networks, allowing certain kinds of traffic and services in and not others. Um, and that should give you a pretty good idea of how to prepare for the exam. So thank you for watching and following me. Um, I'm not sure what certificate I will get next. I may study for the Security Plus next. But for now, I'm just going to focus on taking a break. And I'll pause this channel for a while. Thanks for watching and good luck.